Welcome to OVO, VoiceOver 101, lesson number one. What is VoiceOver? VoiceOver, or VO for short, is simply a voice that is placed over something else, such as pictures, videos, or just voice audio like radio. There are multiple kinds of voiceover artists. A voiceover artist tends to be someone who narrates or announces, such as movie trailers or documentaries. A voice actor is more likely to voice a character, like in a commercial or cartoon. What do I need to become a voiceover artist? Well, first of all, you need to be able to speak, silly. <laughs> Anyone with a voice can be a voiceover artist to some extent, even if it's just reading a bedtime story to your kids. The better your ability to speak, the more likely you are to be able to make money doing voiceovers. What kind of training is required to become a voiceover artist? No training is officially required to be a voice actor, but drama classes, speech classes, and community theater, or voiceover workshops are definitely beneficial to an aspiring voiceover talent. The ability to create believable characters or create genuine reads is how voiceover artists get hired. What hardware do I need? Slow down, friend. There's no need to run up massive debt to be able to record voiceovers. If you're watching this, chances are you have a computer. Now all you need is a microphone or mic and a quiet place to record. Not everyone can afford to build a sweet studio like this right away. Start small and upgrade as money and time permit. First, what computer should you use? Any standard computer will do, but MacBooks tend to be the choice of professionals. If possible, use a computer with very low fan noise. Most laptops have very low fan noise. Second, where to record. You can simply get a heavy comforter and throw it over your head to reduce background noise. No, really, I'm not kidding. Or you can find a small space like a closet or small bathroom and dampen the outside noise with blankets or towels. Third, what mic should you use? You can get a decent USB mic for around $100 or buy a secondhand mic from a consignment store or pawn shop. Condenser mics work best. When using a standard or analog mic, you will need a way to plug it into your computer. An adapter or adapter cable can be found at places like Radio Shack and Best Buy. Don't try to use a headset like this one for recording voiceovers. These are great for Skype or Xbox, but not for making professional recordings. Don't waste your time with the computer's internal microphone either. You can also purchase a windscreen and or a pop filter for your microphone. But an old thick sock stretched over your microphone or a pair of old pantyhose stretched over a coat hanger will work just as well. Just make sure they're clean. You can also purchase a sound mixer like this one that plugs into your computer with a stereo adapter cable. You will also need a set of headphones. Nicer headphones can run upwards towards $100, but you can get decent headphones for under 40 bucks. And lastly, what software should you use to record? Audacity is a free program that is easily available for download. Most professionals use Pro Tools, but there are many programs available on the internet, such as Adobe Soundbooth and Sony Acid. You may want to spend some time getting used to your program before starting. The quality of your recording is also important. Here are some examples of the different kinds of file formats and the quality they provide. Welcome to OVO, VoiceOver 101. Welcome to OVO, VoiceOver 101. Welcome to OVO, VoiceOver 101. Well, that's all for now. Tune in next time to learn how to be a good voice actor.